Good day everyone. Today we will discuss about translation of verbal phrases to mathematical phrases. Okay, symbols used for operations are called operational symbols, while symbols used to determine relation between quantities are called relational symbols. Now we have these operational symbols and the words associated to these symbols. So we have the plus sign, so this is the symbol. So the words associated to it are plus, add, increase by more than the sum of okay and then for minus sign so we have the symbol for minus sign and the words associated to the symbols are the following so we have here minus subtract from decreases by diminish by differ or we can also use the word less or less than but take note that if we use the word or the phrase less than it means that we're going to write or read backward position now for multiplication sign so we have the following symbol we have the usual multiplication symbol as in x then we have the parentheses then we have the dot so it means multiplication and the words associated for the symbols are the following so we have will multiply multiplied by the product of we have the times and for times if we don't have symbol between two variables or more than two variables it means that it is multiplication and then also if we have the number and the variable so it means that it also multiplication so for for example we have here 4 and x so pag pinagsama natin siya we have 4x so it means that it is 4 times x okay so that is the meaning for the no symbol between variables means multiplication now for our operational symbols division sign we have here the division symbol the bar or for bar we are talking about the bar in fraction so we have the words related to the symbols we have divide the quotient and then we have the ratio now for involution we have here the exponents so it is read as raised to the power of, or we can read it also as squared, cube, to the fourth, to the fifth, to the sixth, to the nth. Okay, now for evolution, we have this radical sign. So you are familiar with the radical sign. So we have here the words related to the symbol. We have the nth roots. So where n is any positive integer. So let's say if it is 2, so we will read it as square root. If it is 3, we will read it as cube root. If it is 4, we have 4th root, 5th root, 6th root, and so on up to nth roots. Now, we can relate it in English if we are talking about grammar. So, a phrase is a group of words that does not express complete thoughts. In mathematical phrase, it also does not express a complete thought unless it becomes an equation. Okay, let us have examples for the translation of mathematical or verbal phrases to mathematical symbol using all the uh, symbols that we have discussed and its meaning. So let us have these exercises. Let's have letter A. Translate the following to mathematical symbol. So number one, we have here twice the sum of seven and a number. So how are we going to translate it into mathematical symbol? So we have the word here twice. So it means that it is multiplied by two. So, twice the sum of 7 and a number. So, we have here the sum of 7 and a number. So, we will have here twice. So, it means that we're going to multiply the given by 2. So, we can use the symbol parentheses according to what we have discussed. So, we have here twice. So, it means that 2 times the sum of 7 and a number. 
So the sum means we will use the operation addition. So we have here the plus sign, okay, and a number. So a number can be a representation of any variable you want. So let's say we have here the word number, so it starts with letter N. So we can use letter N as the symbol for a number. So we can have N. So this will be the mathematical symbol for twice the sum of seven and a number. Okay? Now let us have number two verbal phrase. So we have here, subtract one half of the number from 25. Again, subtract one half of the number from 25. So it means that we will subtract. So the operation is subtraction or the minus sign. So we will subtract one half of the number from from 25. So it means that 25 will be our minuend. So 25. Because we will subtract one half of the number from 25. That's why we will write first 25. Okay, then one half of the number. So it means that we're going to have a fraction. One half of the number. So when we say the numbers, it can be represented by any variable, any letter from the English alphabet. But since we are talking about number, so let us just use letter N as our variable. So we can have 25 minus 1 half N. Okay? So we have here number 3, 1 third the square root of thrice the cube of the number. So one third. So we have here one third fraction. Then the square root, one third of the square root. So we have here the square root symbol. Okay. So we have that uh, symbol. Thrice the cube of the number. So when we say thrice, it means that we will multiply the given cube of the number by 3. So we have tries, multiply it by 3. Then what will be the symbol for cube of the number? So when we say cube, it means that the exponent is 3. So we will have the number, cube of the number. So since we have here the number, so let us just use letter N for the number, representing number as letter N. So we have here N, then it says that the exponent is 3 because of the word cube. So we, this will be the mathematical symbol. So one-third the square root of 3N cube. So that will be one-third the square root of twice the cube of the number. Now let us have the other exercise. This this one is the reverse of what we do in letter A. So we are given here a mathematical symbol. Then we will uh, express it in verbal phrase. Okay, so how are we going to express it? Since we have here a constant which is 2 or a number, then we have the variable. Okay, then the operation, subtraction, then we have 5. So we can translate it as twice a number okay so we can translate here 2x as twice a number diminish so diminish means subtraction so we have diminish by 5 so this will be one of the translation of this mathematical symbol so we have here twice a number so we have here a number so we can express this as any variable because we don't have a value for this particular number so we will represent this as variable so we can use here okay in our translation the given exercise as letter or a variable x but we can express it as a number because we don't have an exact value for this 
Okay, so we have here twice a number, which is x, diminish the symbol subtraction by 5. Or we can use the word less than. So when we say less than in mathematical symbol, so we read it as backward. Okay, so when we use the phrase less than. So we will, okay, start backward. So we will have 5. Less than, so instead of twice a number, we can use less than 2 times a number. Okay, so again, we have here 5 less than 2 times a number. So why is it that we begin with 5? Because if we are going to use the phrase less than, in mathematical symbols, so it means that we will read it as backward or translate it as backward. So we have here 5 less than 2 times a number. Let okay. us take another example for our translation from verbal praise to mathematical praise. So this time we will have these exercises. So match the verbal praise in column A with mathematical praise in column B. So let us just add it in instruction that we will write the letter of the correct answer for each number. Okay, let us have number one. So the difference between a number and seven. So the difference, so we have a difference, so it means that the operation or the symbol is minus sign. Between a number and seven. So from this um, column B, so what letter will be the correct answer for this mathematical um, verbal phrase? Okay, the difference between a number and seven. So we will have here letter B. So we have here a number and seven, then the difference. So we have here subtraction operation. So the answer will be letter B. Okay. Now, let us proceed to number two. We have here the verbal phrase, six times the sum of, okay, six times. So, let us erase the other one, the word of, okay, because it's double. So, we have here six times the sum of a number and four. So, it means that we will multiply a number and four by Six because we have here six times, then multiplied to the sum of a number and four. So from these choices, so what will it be for the particular verb of phrase six times the sum? So we have here the word sum, so it means that the operation involved is addition. So the, the symbol will be used is plus sign. So we will use a uh, plus sign here, and we have this. Answer for verbal praise number two because we have your six times. So we have your six times. So parenthesis means in our symbol multiplication. Then the sum of a number and four. So we have your n plus four. So the answer will be letter B. Now let us have verbal phrase number three. So we have your divide the sum of the cube of x and y by the square of z. So we have here the word divide. So what particular symbol in mathematics are we going to use for the word divide? So we can use the symbol um, division like this or we can have it in fraction because fraction means division. So we have here divide. So we have here the fraction. Then the sum. So we have here the plus sign and then it says here that the cube of x and y. So we have your x cube, we have your y cube. Then divide it by the square of z. So we have here z squared. So the correct answer for number 3 is letter A. Now let us have number 4. The difference of a number and 8 multiplied by 2. So we have your difference. It means that the mathematical symbol that we're going to use is 
subtraction or minus sign. Okay? So, we have here minus sign of a number and 8. So, we have here the difference of a number and 8. So, we have here n minus 8 multiplied. So, multiplied by 2. So, we have here the parentheses. Then, we multiply it by 2. So, the correct answer for number 4 is letter C. Okay? I hope you learned from our discussion about translation of verbal phrase to mathematical phrase or mathematical symbol. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and God bless.